a brief on the version 2.3 special program that we just watched. Obviously, we have a new Trailblaze mission, as we do with every update. A uh, new main story mission, I mean. A new area, the Radiant Feldspar, which is essentially like a, a space yacht that floats above Penacony. Pretty cool, it's for rich people only. It's like a kind of, it looks like a Hitman map, to be honest. It looks like I'm about to go assassinate somebody in there. And then we got, of course, our new characters. Firefly, everybody knew she was coming. Jade, everybody knew she was coming. Uh, me personally, I'm pulling for Jade. I don't know. I can't do both, I don't think. I think, well, because I already have a fire uh, DPS, so, you know, Jade it is. I'm collecting all the IPC characters anyways. So they're going to make a good team, I swear. Um, and even if they don't, I'm still making it. The light cones. Now, we don't have the information on what exactly these light cones do at the moment. And we also we have a new four-star light cone. This is obviously Jade's light cone. This is obviously Firefly's light cone. I don't know any of the details yet. We will find those out later, closer to the update. And we get a new four-star light cone as well, with uh, the man Sunday on the cover. We got uh, a new a new simulated universe light cone, which is huge. It's an erudition light cone, which actually means big if you are pulling for Jade, or any other erudition character in the future, or any... It me, uh, I'm saying it specifically for Jade because it's coming out at the same time. If you're pulling for, if you're pulling for Jade, but you kind of ran out of some uh, Jade, if you get what I mean, and you can't pull for her light cone as well, have no fear. This light cone might be of help. Well, obviously I don't know the details of what this light cone does yet, nor do I know what this light cone does. Um, I have a feeling that this might aid you in some way. These these simulated universe light cones are usually pretty good, anyways. So save up your your herd of bonds. So obviously the first warp, the first banner we have is gonna be uh, Firefly, along with a Ron May rerun. The four stars are going to be Gallagher, Misha, and Shui Yi. You know, pretty alright lineup of four stars. Uh, I'm By the way, I'm still Ron May less. I have no Ron May. And uh, to be honest, I have no need for Ron May. I know she's great. Uh, but I just don't know where I would use her, to be honest. So, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, obviously this is, goes along with the, uh, the these these light cones that we just previously mentioned. The second banner phase will be the Jade banner with an Argenti rerun. Now, uh, I have no really interest in Argenti, so, you know, it is what it is. Four star uh, characters, we have Serval, Natasha, and Asta. This is a, a decent lineup. Uh, it's hard to say decent, it's pretty bad, but Asta is really the only good one here, uh, in my opinion. Natasha, you just have we just have better healers right now, like way better healers. It's an early game healer. So in Serval, need I say more? Now, uh, obviously we have the five star light cones and our four star light cones here. This is the new four star light cone that was released. Um, that I don't believe is in this one, right? No. All right. Uh, yeah, new four star light cone released, as well as a couple really nice uh, for uh, four star light cones that we are familiar with. This one I forget the name of, but it's a nice abundance light cone. Um. I forget what it does. I might have to look it up or not. Just know that it's pretty good. Um, this light cone, I think it's called Trend of the Universal Market or something like that. This, this is a nice one. Overall, I would say these are, I would say this is more than decent. I said this is pretty good or if not a great lineup of uh, four star light guns. But people don't really tend to care about this as much as the other stuff. So new game modes, uh, a new simulated universe game mode, Divergent Universe. In this game mode, you're going to be able to farm planetary ornaments like you would be able to farm normal relics. So we're removing the whole, I want rel I need more relics, I need to build my units. I need to ro go run the entire simulated universe five times in order to get one good relic. No, no need to do that anymore. You can simply clear it once in this Divergent Universe game mode and run it as many times as you want. It probably obviously takes, um, I mean, it obviously takes your, your stamina, but run it as many times as you want. You have to, you have to defeat a boss. You have to defeat, the, I think, probably the, the, the enemy, the main boss, uh, and then you can get your ornaments. So yeah, it removes the monotony of uh, having to run the same simulated universe five times in a row, just grinding. So now you don't need to have crazy five million hours of investment to uh, build good units. There you go. That's probably the thing I'm most happy for. Um, Apocalyptic Shadow, new endgame content, uh, so similar to MOC or uh, per Pure Fiction, right? So that's going to be incorporated into our little 
phases there when Charmony rings out, which is um, a way for you to get a an idol on for your new Harmony MC. Obviously, we have our uh, free ten pull. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. New little filler game mode. I'm not gonna be playing that. Uh, Stellar Shimmer, same-ish thing. Uh, Planar Fissure. Yes, so we have uh, double Planar Ornament rewards on. I probably on launch. Just whenever during this event is standard stuff. Same with uh, uh, relics, and we have a new relic set, as well as a new planar or two new relic sets, two new planar ornament sets. Sorry, starting with Iron Cavalry against the Scourge. Now, you, if you read here, the Iron Cavalry against the Scourge is a set suitable for break and super break DPS characters. So, uh, obviously, the first character that comes to mind, Firefly, right? But you get this. This is a uh, uh, oh. <coughs> <coughs> applicable this is applicable to um plenty of different characters it's up to you we don't know the exact i don't think we know the exact stats yet so we'll have to get deeper into that as that comes out second relic set is a set suitable for follow-up attack damage and ultimate dps characters so uh obviously jade perfect example now I'm, i am this is the one that really piques my interest because i'm very curious because we already have a follow-up set right that's great for characters like topaz himiko right now it does say suitable for ultimate dps characters which would be include which would be mostly jade uh and himiko as opposed to and was somewhat himiko as opposed to topaz who will not benefit at all from ultimate dps because her ultimate doesn't do any damage however we'll have to see again we'll have to see i am i am fairly certain that the current follow-up set that we have is going to be probably remaining best in slot for for topaz uh but i'm i'm kind of i'm kind of making stuff up right now new planar ornaments follow-up attack team dps set this is going to be really nice currently we don't have this it's going to be nice we're going to enhance those follow-up teams which is why i'm really excited for uh more ipc characters to come out so i can formulate my uh ipc dream team we got currently. I have all the IPC characters. I have uh, uh, J uh, Topaz and Aventurine. I'm gonna get Jade. So uh, after that, we'll see who comes out. And uh, yeah, I'm 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 fixing to make myself a nice IPC team. Just give me a I just give me a uh, uh, a harmony unit. Give me an IPC harmony unit, and I'm good to go. Forge of the Cal Cogni Kalpani Lantern, uh, speed and break effect increasing set. This is the art on this set looks beautiful, by the way. Just look at that or that sphere, insane. I, this one's awesome as well. Yeah, new material so you can farm for uh, jade. Oh, okay. Yeah, instead of getting 720 jades total for clearing all MOC stages and other other end game challenges, you get 800 now, which is pretty nice. Small little update. Uh, this is just like a little quality of life thing so for the end game content. This is another quality of life thing for when you're uh, in. I think any game mode preparation thing. Where you can uh, have team setups in there instead of having to click each in individual character. It's not, it's not a huge deal. I think it's just this minor quality of life change. And obviously you have all your codes here. Bada bing bada boom. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna log on to Star Rail right now, claim my codes. I think this is a nice, good stream. Thank you for watching.